Super simple. Knee tucks. Oh, don't hold it. That means that your hip no, because that means that your hip flexors are good to know because that means that your hip flexors are really tight. They're yeah. so tight that you feel like cramped totally. there. Totally. That's exactly how it feels. More than here. Way more here. Okay. So oh, we're gonna, that's bad. Perfect. We're gonna start with <laughs> with, with a different stretch instead. I'm gonna bring this over. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure my hips are like fucked up. This guy. I'm gonna take this pad. So, we're gonna start making flexions, but still dynamically at first. Okay? Okay. This guy here. I'm gonna very slowly get into this split squat position. Alright. And you don't want to lean back so that your lower back is doing all the work. You want to just keep straight, squeeze your back legs loose, and you should feel the stretch in the hamstring. Oh, sorry, in the hip flexor. The way you're going to know that you're uh, doing it dynamically is that you literally shift the hips backwards and then squeeze the glutes forward. And you're just going to rock back and forth in that range of motion. We'll go for about 10 reps. 10 reps for 30 seconds. What can I use at home? You definitely have a couch or a chair at home. What are we doing? You definitely have a pillow at home. This needs help. Yeah, that, that's very good. Yeah. Exactly. Feel the stretch there? Feel it all the way. All the way, good. Look like less here though, which I feel like I feel like more here. More on the quad than the yeah. pressure? Okay, that's fine. We're still gonna do that rock back dynamic. Oh, right. So Is now that right like this? Yeah, but now for the camera to see, look at how much that uh -huh. curve is, right? Okay. So what I want you to do is use your core to Oh, now I feel it. Now you feel oh. it. <laughs> there you go. Oh. So that's the magic cue for okay. you personally. <laughs> I can't <laughs> That's okay. If you can't just hold that. We'll hold that for about 10, 15 fuck. seconds. Yeah, and just breathe. Um, so, test, we're skipping this dynamic part for here, uh, we're going to go right into something called a PNF stretch. What this is, is we're actually using the nervous system, using the muscles uh, to fire around the joint and, and fire the muscle that we're trying to stretch. Then we're going to relax it and what that allows you to do, it, people say it tricks, I wouldn't say it, it tricks your brain, but it tells your brain that you're safe to go into a further position. So what test you're going to do right now is you're going to push your foot down into the pad and you're going to push your knee down into here. And you're going to hold that for five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And you should be able to slowly dip further into the stretch, but it should stretch more. What's my, what's my back doing? How do I do it again? Yeah, so, so we don't want so much extension. We want to pin your ribs down to your core a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> there, that's oh, it. Oh, God. Yeah. No wonder I've been avoiding this. <laughs> and put your arm up just so people, uh, the camera can see that. So you see how her back is much straighter now as opposed to how it extended her lower back was before? That's a lot. Just keep breathing. But that's already a much further position just yeah, from doing totally. that PNS that stretch. Pushing your foot into the ground uh, really helps that a lot. Right. Now we'll switch sides. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been trying to stretch and I've just been doing everything to avoid actually having it like feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty standard that your your brain usually tries to take the easy way out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's It's, 
Is this better? It's still oh, a little more. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm going to squeeze this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good, good breathing. So that's a pretty deep stretch. Now, okay. slowly start to just rock back and forth. Yeah. We're going to go for 10 reps of that. So what the dynamic stretching part of this is doing is it's just warming up the muscles and the joints. It's shooting blood flow, synovial fluid there, which preps the muscle for not only working out, but also it increases the range of motion by making it warmer. So even if you're going to stretch, you still want a bit of a warm up to stretch. If you stretch cold, you could hurt yourself and your brain goes into protection mode, so it won't really let you stretch as much as you want. Okay. Okay, so that's 10 reps and now. That's okay. I know I, I really can't anyways. So hold on, keep your foot where it was. Now we're gonna do that same PNF that we did on the other side. So push your foot down to here and your knee down to there, and that's gonna activate the quads and the hip flexors. You hold it for five, four, three, two, one, relax and sit deeper into it. There you go. Yeah. Feel that? Yeah. I do this one, but I, I like hold my foot. Yeah, you can do that too. Do you, but So sometimes people will feel less of their hip flexor and claws and yeah. more of their lower back because they're reaching back to feel it. So if you don't... Probably what's going on. Yeah, pay attention to it next time you try it. If it if you don't notice your lower back, then you're fine. Keep doing it that way. This one might be easier. Yeah. So that's ridiculous. Like we'll we'll take a look on the video after, but look at how much more range of motion you got now than yeah, what we right. had when we first started. Right? Look at it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're good with that one? Oh yeah. Oh fuck, this one's tight. <laughs> oh my god. That feel okay? Yeah, kind of it's weird. Yeah. For sure. Like it feels cool, you know? Yeah. I know it's exactly. like the temperature. Temperature. It should feel warm. <laughs> Maybe it feels on fire. I don't know. You feel something. Something's you feel something. Okay, so the next is actually just a variation of that. We're gonna get into the same split stance. Huh. We're also gonna now open up the thoracic spine. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you want to start from here, you take a big step. And I want all of the movement coming from here. Your hands come down, and you open up. What I don't want to see is this. Okay. All right? That's not putting much effort into it, and that's a little lower back. You want to stretch the hips, maintain stability here, you'll feel the glute, touch down, open up. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, really good. This way? Uh, I did the other way, but yeah. I don't think it really matters. You can do both. Back and forth? Yeah. And then other side. Oh, just one time? Yeah. Good. Oh, you're already cheating a little bit. Why? Rounding a little bit here? Yes, there you go. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> 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 <I'm cheating. laughs> Side I'm not shaking. Yeah, no, it's it's weird, but it's a thing. Like usually, people have one uh, one side strong. Is I not cheating on the first one? No, you're good. Oh weird. Ooh, I think this one's just tired now. So another really important thing is with stretching and with anything is you want to just be aware of your body and aware of your movements and aware of which muscle is working and what do you feel. It takes a lot of effort. You don't want to just passively go through a workout, even if it's just a stretch. It's a lot of effort. Yeah. <laughs> but you're doing good so far. So the next one, uh, this one's going to be freaking tough for you, but it's going to be good. So another one of Tessa's goals is to be able to do the splits on top of just increasing your hip mobility. So this is like kind of step one uh, of it. It's called an adductor rock back. I'm gonna show you in two angles and then Tess will go ahead and do it. You wanna start off in a position just like this, on all fours, hands right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Kick one leg out, 
don't go too much at first. Uh, some people want to kick right to there. It's gonna really, it's gonna, you're gonna feel a lot of stress on that muscle as you do the movement. So be a little conservative first and then you can make it harder. So like this, you're gonna rock back all the way and then you're gonna thrust forward so you can squeeze your butt and kind of lock the glutes out. So what that looks like here. And what you don't want to see is rounding the lower back. You don't want to see that. You want to keep everything straight so you can control the hips. Right? It's coming back and the stretch is in here, not my lower back. Okay. Oh, let's get it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There? Mm -hmm. That's good. Like I can already feel it. I know. Yeah. Not too much. I need to feel it here. I feel it here. There? Okay, that's okay. Because that's also part of your, your tightness. But and now, now slowly rock back. <laughs> yeah, so your back is nice and straight here. That's Just perfect. Straight? Okay. Yeah. How far do you Yeah, that should be good. Do you feel anything there now? Yeah, a little bit. It's more like oh <laughs> Pushes her feet oh, this way, activating this muscle. Yeah, there yeah. you go. For five seconds, and then relaxes. She should be able to sit a little bit deeper and feel a little bit more relief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're actually shaking. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. 
Okay, so then now we'll swap over for a sec. I'll show you uh, the next version of that. Very similar. We like to do this specifically uh, if you have some issues with your squat depth. Um, it really, it's up to the trainer's discretion to see how your lumbar spine moves in this and how wide you can get your, uh, your legs. So forward, this is what the stretch looks like. Take your regular squat stance-ish. Sit down and you pry mm. open here. I do that actually. Do this one? Yeah. So then how we turn this PNF is by squeezing mm. your knees in against, against my elbows isometrically. Isometrically means that there's no movement. My knees, my knees are not going like this, just squeezing uh, statically. So I'm gonna squeeze five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Breathe out. I can sit a little bit more into that stretch. And if you want to turn it dynamic, you literally just kind of rock in and out, back and forth, and you'll feel everything here. So sideways, that just quickly looks like this. Right? I don't want to see so much lower back rounding, so really if I was doing it for a squat assessment, it would be like this. I'm at about 90 degrees here. So you're a little bit rounded there, you're a little low, so then yeah, get your chest up. Uh, there, that's now the stuff that you're looking I can't reach my elbows. Okay. Yeah, so you can do it like that. Everyone's anatomy is different. Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> Are your like quads like it's feeling? it's here. That's that spot still. So. Yeah. Okay. Does it hurt or just No, it just feels tired, like yeah. it's working. Good. So that's probably what's happening. It's probably really tired. It's, it's like, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can rest there. That's fine. So now we're just gonna do two easy glute stretches um, for your situation right here. I say glute. It's more than just glute. It's your external hip rotators, stabilizers, things underneath the glute max. Probably some ligaments and stuff too. The point is. We just want to mobilize. Everyone knows the stretch. They call it the pure performance stretch. Stretch is kind of all of those things. Grab it right here. Very slowly. Bring it towards you. You should feel the stretch all in here. And if you want to turn this PNF as well, you can push your ankle into the, the supporting knee right here. But I want you to make sure that you're feeling this muscle contract. Uh, if you're feeling a different muscle, adjust around until you feel this one work. So push that ankle down. Five, four, three, two, one. And you can pull it in closer for a bigger stretch. I couldn't get this far before. Okay, does it ever put like too much pressure on your knee? If if that happens, then it just means that you're so tight here that literally, like, that literally it's cranking yeah, on yeah. you. So if that's the case. Don't even, don't even bring it that far. Just pull it in yourself oh God, like this. Okay. And make sure that your lower back isn't cheating and coming off. Keep your hips down and just pull in like this. That, that takes away from the stress of the knee. And you can go like, like it's that. not all the time. I think maybe I just kind of try and push it a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> I feel it for sure. For sure? Good. 100%. There? Yeah. <laughs> is it good? Is it bad? Is it just feels whatever? Good. It feels good. Good. But it's strong. Yeah. Should I try pushing in a bit? Yeah. So now push in. You feel that contracting. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. And push a little further. There you go. Good. Oh, yeah. This one's super deep. <laughs> so when you're doing this on your own, you pretty much never want to feel a 10 out of 10 stretch because mm -hmm. A, that could result in a muscle pull, probably not, but maybe. Uh, B, the more you stretch something and you feel it, the more of a signal, the protective signal goes to your brain saying, 
don't go anymore. We don't want to lock up that joint. We just want enough so that it opens up the joint and you can go a little deeper into the stretch. So maybe like a six to eight out of 10 pressure is what you want to be giving. Good, other side. Yeah, like, see this one, like, I feel it, but not even close. To the other one. Yeah. Makes sense. Why is that like that, though? I have no idea, dude. It could be anything. Yeah. It could be a anatomical yeah, thing. Maybe one side's different than the other. It could be, like, you've had spurts on and off where you're active and healthy, and other times where you don't do much physical activity. Well, that's all it takes sometimes to, uh, to lock up a joint. Really? Especially if you're, if you're stressed, um, yeah. Psychological stress can also affect how your body is. So if you're not keeping up with strength in, in your muscles as a whole, mm -hmm. as your body as a whole, then your body's gonna find these compensations everywhere and mm -hmm. just do it automatically. That's so fucked up. It is. All right. Yeah, this one feels fine. You're good. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I think that's it for now. Yeah. Oh, the last thing, calves. Uh, we haven't assessed your calves or anything yet, so yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's a couple ways. First thing is, uh, is this. I'm going to give you this dowel. There's a million ways to test this. Just off the top of my head, I know that, that this helps. Yeah, it's so good. So you're going to take your comfy squat stance, whatever that is for you. Keep this overhead. You're gonna show me a deep squat. Okay, as deep as you can. Without grounding my back? Yeah. Okay, back up. A little more slow. And back up. Okay, what else for you? Good. So if your cats are yeah, not moving much. They don't feel tight. What, what it would look like if, you, if they were super tight is your body would be over like this. Oh. And then to, to kind of confirm if that's the case, we would do the test again with your heels elevated on a block or on a barbell, or sorry, on a weight yeah. plate an inch. And if you redo it um, and you're straight, that usually means right. yeah, that your calves are the limiting factor. Uh, you passed that test, but let's just go for the stretch anyways, just, yeah. to, just to see. So we're gonna use this here. Okay. You just want to start conservative, fully extend that back leg completely, and then you're just going to bend the left leg forward or the front knee forward, keeping your heel on the ground, and you should feel the stretch. Yeah. yeah. And you can turn this dynamic too if you want to move side to side, go back and forth. like I feel this. Over there, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's the target of the spot for the whole day, so. Yeah. It's probably close. All the right. muscles are worked and stretched and all that crap. And after this, you're, you're done for now. There's more things that I want to do another time. Yeah. If this starts working with you, then I want to start doing some more activation stuff too. But it's all this, the typical stuff, you know, core activation, glute activation, yeah. hip stability, things that we're just Let's one step at a time. Let me just see how far I can get. Yeah. You don't have those little yoga things, do you? Lots? Yeah. No, but you can, you can improvise. We have lots of things. Like the stretches that a girl who I used to know who could dance is like this one, and then you do this, and then you do this. So, yeah, that's very similar to World's Greatest Stretch, which is okay. kind of what we did, we just didn't do the hamstring part. Right. So, when you go like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go like that, that part. and the last yeah. part is, is like that, to the hamstring, or to sit like that, yeah. whatever, but very similar. There's a lot of similar yoga stretches too, it's all just about joint mobility. Like I'm getting oh, there. Getting there. Right? I know, I'm getting there. I can't go the other way, that's the way I want to go, but... What's the matter? I want to go both ways. <laughs> <laughs> what does it matter? If you met a girl who would stretch this way and the other way, you'd be more impressed. Sure. But for okay. some reason, even though this is the tight leg, I can go deeper on that side. 
deny that in my explanation. Oh, that's still good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, but I can feel it here different. like crazy. Scratch, yeah. And like, see, my front leg isn't straight. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that hurts like a bitch. I think it's because this hip is. It's hard. Yeah, that's probably part of the reason. <laughs> but like this way, I can't even. I can't do anything. This is. When I do this, here feels like it's yeah, right. broken. Well, it's not even this. No, yeah, because that actually. That. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Don't fall on this. Ah. Right <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That was test stretching 101. <laughs>